Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we're embarking on an incredible journey through our solar system, focusing on one of its most fascinating moons, Titan. Let's get ready to explore the wonders of this alien world, yet so close to our home. Saturn, the sixth planet from the Sun, is a gas giant known for its stunning rings. Out of all of these moons, Titan stands out as the most intriguing. It's not just the largest moon of Saturn, but the second largest moon in the entire solar system, only slightly smaller than Ganymede, and only just smaller by a tad of 2%. One of the most striking features of Titan is its thick, hazy atmosphere, almost a golden color. Some depictions of the moon is green, but in reality, it's a blank color to the naked eye. Titan is the only moon in the solar system with a dense atmosphere as well, primarily composed of nitrogen with traces of methane and other hydrocarbons. This thick atmosphere gives Titan its hue and creates a unique environment that's both familiar and strange to us. For a moon, it even surpasses Mars in terms of its impressive atmosphere, able to withstand solar radiation unlike Mars does. What you would have to worry about the most with Titan is its negative 292 Fahrenheit surface temperature. Imagine standing on the surface of Titan, the sky would appear orange and the sunlight would be dim, almost like twilight on Earth. The atmospheric pressure on Titan's surface is about 1.5 times that of Earth, which means that you would feel a bit more squeezed, but not uncomfortably so. What's even more fascinating is that Titan has lakes, rivers, and seas, but not in the same way as Earth's. They're not filled with water, instead they're composed of liquid methane and ethane. These hydrocarbon bodies create hydrological cycles similar to Earth's water cycle, with methane rain flowing rivers and evaporating lakes. The reason why methane can flow on the surface of Titan is because at these temperatures they're so cold that they're liquids. At room temperature, these would evaporate. Much of what we know about Titan comes from the Cassini-Huygens mission, a collaborative project between NASA, ESA, and ASI. Launched in 1997, the Cassini spacecraft spent 13 years studying Saturn's moons and the planet itself. While the Huygens probe landed on Titan's surface in 2005, providing us with invaluable data and stunning images. In fact, Remarkably special about these images is that it's the farthest we've ever landed on any body besides the Earth, being around 883 million miles from the Sun and over 900 million miles away from the Earth on average. Titan's unique environment as well has sparked scientists' imagination about the possibility of life. While the extreme cold and lack of liquid water make it unlikely for life as we know it, you can never say for certain about anything. The presence of complex organic molecules and energy sources suggests that some form of life could potentially exist in this alien world, or at least with enough of a push could create more complex organisms. But these only remain a concept, with theories talking about the possibilities of life focusing on several bodies in our solar system. Looking ahead, there are exciting missions planned to further explore Titan. NASA's Dragonfly mission, set to launch in 2027, will send a rotorcraft to Titan's surface, exploring its diverse landscapes and searching for signs of prebiotic chemistry and potentially habitability. I hope you enjoyed this cosmic adventure and learning something new about this fascinating moon. If you like this video, don't forget to like the video. Subscribe for more space explorations and other types of videos that I make. I make all sorts of kind of content, including gaming. And uh, comment down below if there's more information about this moon. If there's anything I miss. I mean, there's always more to learn. It's a very intriguing moon. And keep looking up to the stars. I'll see you all later. Have a good rest of your day.